Good afternoon. Um, six years ago, I hosted 44 radio shows over the holidays to comfort people around grief. And that series of shows with 27 guests became a journey of how to transform grief to love. And so over this holiday season, I started to repost the, the shows, one every day, and to give you a little summary about the topic of the show. Well, today I'm finding myself really feeling a little tender around this show because of the, the depth of the feelings, the depth of the sharing. The show is called The Voice That Calls You Home. And the guest, Reverend Andrea Rayner, wrote a book, The Voice That Calls You Home. I know you're going to see it backwards, but this will give you a little visual of the, of the book. And Andrea is Andy, as she likes to be called, is a hospice chaplain. And for almost a year, she was a chaplain at Ground Zero after the terrorist attack of 9-11 on the Twin Towers. And during the conversation, we talked a little bit about a journey each of us had had around death and loss. Thank you. Thank you, Charles Sanjoy. I don't know if I'm pronouncing your name right, but thank you for that beautiful comment. So Andy and I talked about this journey both of us had. I had had my first experience with death when my brother died at the, when I was four, and he died of SIDS. He was uh, two months old. And Andy had her first experience, I believe she was eight years old, when she was at a picnic with another family, and they were, both families were there having a great time, and, um, one of the children died suddenly. And we talked about our experiences with feeling grief, having those experiences, and also about how to support other people in holding a space for, for someone who is grieving. I know that I feel tender also because in the radio show, what I felt so much was an opportunity that we have to touch our deep place of humanity with each other. When there is a loss, even the trauma of living in uncertain times, the way we have been living, that it connects us to a part of ourselves that we might not have expressed during times of joy. But when you touch that deep place of connection and out of it rises joy and compassion and kindness, it changes the way that we can interact with people on a day-to-day -day basis. So I'm not going to talk a whole lot today. I just wanted to share that. I'm sure you can feel my tenderness in this sharing today. I really encourage you to listen to the show. I will be posting the link to the radio show and also to, to go to Andy's website. And I'll post that link also. And it is revandrearainer.com. When we did the interview, she had a book, The Voice That Calls You Home, that talked about her different experiences with death with grief, with loss, and with that connection to joy. But since then, she has two other books on her website, Incognito and The Choice. Um, the one that I want to highlight in this moment, and you can take a look at, at all of the books on her website, The Choice is a very short story that you can download from um, Amazon on Kindle. And the reason I'm highlighting that is because 
it's a short story about that connects with humanity at ground zero and there's um, there's a really special story that she wrote about that she also talked about on the radio when the um, the the workers I can't think of how to describe them now who were basically locating bodies and when they found one of the terrorists who they assumed to be one of the terrorists who had run into who had flown into the Twin Tower and this choice that we have on how we're going to treat people and who we're going to be. So I invite you to listen to the radio show, to uh, read Andy's books, and to connect with the, your own choices moment by moment in kindness, in compassion. And even in these uncertain times where you might feel a little bit shaken up, like finding moments of connection throughout this holiday season where you can bring hope to someone else. Begin with your own feelings and nourish that place inside of you first and then connect with others. All right, thank you for being here. I'll be back tomorrow and... Um, I'll have an announcement tomorrow because there is a book release tomorrow. See you then. Bye-bye.